Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Saturday, Saturday, November 9th, and the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to today's energy, I had the most interesting thought for someone where I think of, say, since Wednesday, um, is it Wednesday? Yeah, since about Wednesday or even Tuesday, maybe the 5th, uh, you know, there's, it's like I imagine there's this back and forth drama. So I imagine like, say, um, in a connection, romantic, platonic, whatever. I imagine something happened that felt like this sudden and unexpected thing and from this thing, there's like back and forth, back and forth because there's confusion in a way, but maybe just not confusion. There's, you know, to a certain extent, maybe both sides or one side want to hold on, but then there's an energy pulling things apart. And within the days, it just reminds me of like the thought of two people being together and, um, two people being together and something happened and it's like okay we're gonna take a break but it's like while you're in that break there's some delin there's some deciding going on like are we gonna move forward or does it end here and i feel like within the past few days that's what i get with this energy where it's like been waiting for been waiting for an answer for something been waiting to find the outcome of something um, but there's definitely some kind of like overlooking and reflecting and processing some kind of information. Uh, yeah, there's reflecting and processing, reflecting and processing to trying to get to the truth or yeah, to get to the truth about something is what I'm getting within the energies for the last few days. And between tomorrow or by Monday, there'll be some clear clear answer it's like we'll know where we stand then type of vibe and when it comes to the spirit guide we have the nightingale and with the nightingale energy it brings me to the mind it brings me to expression it brings me to communication and with the nightingale energy this uh brings me to expressing ourselves being able to express ourselves and with the energies in the day adding up and reducing to number one vibration that brings me to a new beginning but the day is the ninth and something is still being wrapped up something yeah something is still being wrapped up to be released and with the nightingale energy the thought that comes to mind is like from talking it out you'll know where you stand so say if someone here is trying to figure out like do I stay? Do I go? What do I do? When it comes to something from talking it out, you'll know where you stand. So from talking it out for me would look like turning on your smartphone and hitting record and sit the phone there and just rant. Allow yourself to speak out your thoughts or your from your view speak out what happened exactly how does it make you feel what are your fears what are your concerns and i think it's better to record it than to call someone up and share because for most people you're not most people are not going to be brutally honest if they call someone up and share most people are going to out of fear of being judged 
most people are going to deliver the information in a way deliver the information in a way that paints a certain picture of them in the eyes of the person who's listening so of course from doing that there's going to be bias and it's just not going to be truthful where when we're recording and speaking and it's just us and you know the universe hears and knows everything so you already have a witness that already knows the truth so it's harder for you to lie to yourself if you're going about it in that way and with this energy here it brings me to um expressing speaking speaking some truth about something and i feel like using a device to speak into and then delete might be beneficial because after you'll feel so much lighter but then you'll know where you stand because what i'm getting with today's energy where it's like maybe within the past few days you could have um you could have tried to where today yes i could see that a little bit where it's more like tomorrow um it's like it's like it clicks for sure for sure monday for sure for sure but even with today there's something around communication and, and expression or also what i'm picking up is say within a in in some kind of a group setting or with an, another person speaking about something that is important to you and just observing the response will also get you give you the clarity that you need about something there's something about communication and speaking your truth and it's like speak your truth and observe the response you'll get the clarity that you're looking for uh, with the tarot we have the sun card and the sun card energy like the nightingale both of these energies brings me to embracing um, embracing some truth but with the sun card the sun card brings me to the sun card brings me to confidence but not confident con yeah the sun card brings me to confidence it brings me to this trust like trusting and knowing that everything is working out for you trusting and knowing that yeah everything is working out for your greatest good trusting and knowing that everything will be okay everything will work itself out so when i think of the sun card and the nightingale energy together both of these energy here bring me to trust it's it's like say you're afraid of the relationship ending you're afraid of losing the job you're afraid of this that or the next it's like there's no need to fear because everything is already taken care of everything is already working itself out so just just relax that's what i'm getting don't fear the connection ending because if you believe that and it comes back to what you know like the universe is not biased the universe will give us whatever we know we can have so say you're someone that knows that there is someone out there for you you just know this then if a relationship is ending and it's not working well then because you know this and it's clear that there's drama between you and the person you're with and you guys have spent enough time together where you know that this isn't my person then you're going to want to get them out of there sooner sooner than later so your person can come along same thing with the career path you know that you know you've spent enough time with this career path to know that this isn't the path that's meant for me you're going to want to get up out of it as sooner soon as you can because the sooner you get up out of it the faster you make space to fall in you know to align with what is for you so when it comes to this energy here, this energy brings me to that. It brings me to just trusting and knowing, trusting and knowing. So when I look at say today and there's this ending, but it's like whenever I think of endings and beginnings, I always think of a circle and how within a circle, the ending is always the beginning. So there's always a reason to celebrate whenever something ends instead of focusing on the fact that something's over it's time to get excited about what's next because something has to be next something has to be next so when it comes to this energy you know it brings me to not being afraid to speak your truth 
out of fear of what someone will do and just trust and in some cases maybe it might be best to speak your truth and allow people to show their true colors so you know where you stand in a situation but either way when it comes to today's energy i get like a passive aggressive vibe as there's one aspect of the energy dealing with endings and another aspect dealing with beginnings but like yesterday's energy um, yesterday's energy had something to do with being still and allowing for things to clear out. And I feel like today is one of those days where it's like, yes, you trust and know everything is working out for you because it is. You speak your truth, but at the same time, I feel like it'll be more like, say, Sunday, Monday, when there's more clarity around the situation. The moon is in Sag today. And it's still squaring the sun in Scorpio and also Uranus in Taurus. So there's a T-square happening between this between fixed energies. And when I look at the T-square happening between fixed energies, I think of our inner world is in a space where we are, we feel safe and familiar. We feel safe and familiar with being of service to others or being seen through the service that we give to others um we're nurtured by the thought of freedom and anything feeling too fixed anything feeling permanent could feel a bit claustrophobic um with the moon in aquarius positively speaking to jupiter and gemini there is this need to social to socialize to connect with others so our inner world is in a place where we want to socialize and connect but we don't want to be restricted by anything that feels permanent don't want to be rest feel restricted by anything that feels permanent so with all that being said and done um today's definitely an energy i feel to it's like similar to yesterday's vibe, more of like a surrender type of energy and just allow for the smoke to clear. I think of the past few days of, say, the water, say, looking at a clear pond and someone drops a huge rock in it and everything from the bottom, you know, rise to the top and it's cloudy. You can't see things clearly between the past few days. It brings me to allowing for things to clear um yeah allowing for things to clear so today's energy brings me to that also but with the sun card coming out in the nightingale there's this speaking your truth allowing yourself to speak your truth and trust that everything is working for you because it always is and the universe is not biased the universe will give us whatever we know we can have so when it comes to this energy, it brings me to working on knowing that you can have whatever it is that you want. And, you know, how you feel about yourself in the world is more is more important than anything else, because that'll determine how, you know, how the experience is. That'll determine if the world is a cruel and unkind place or if it's a pleasant place. It comes down to how you choose to see it and see yourself in it. Hey guys, I want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session. The first one is understanding your internal programming. The second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion. The third is setting goals for success. The fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement. And the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. And when you're aware of your strengths, that makes you unstoppable. And that is why I say self-awareness is a superpower. The fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or 
the link to send me an email for questions are both within the description box below. If you'd like to check out my Patreon where I share exclusive content, the link to check out what's happening on Patreon is in the description box below. It was a pleasure sharing this message with you. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.